Now, a quick question for you. Are you a traditional television viewer? Uh, flicking through the channels, watching programmes live? Are you an iPlayer catch-up type box set addict? Or are you one of uh, hundreds of thousands of people in the UK looking for a new platform altogether? Well, at the moment, Britain's first ever web series based on a book is uh, taking the country by storm. The Night School is already picking up awards and thousands of fans. A year ago, my life fell apart. My parents sent me to Samaria Academy. They said it was my last chance. Everyone here lies. Everyone hides secrets. Secrets that can kill you. The school is not what it seems. Welcome to night school. The Night School stars wyndham born actress Grace Parry and is directed by BAFTA-nominated director Jack Jewers. And uh, Grace and Jack join me in our London studio. Hello, both. Hello. hello. Uh, that, that sounded just a slightly disturbing, the trailer, not to not you saying hello, obviously. <laughs> well, I'm relieved at that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so h- how long have you uh, known each other and uh, how did it all come together, all of this? How long have we known each other? Yes. Um, since, uh, since I auditioned Grace for, actually, I have to say, a different part originally. Yeah in the web series um, uh, last uh, last July and she was she initially went up for a part that I have to be very careful with spoilers but uh, in the books there is a very emotional event in that one of the main characters dies at one point and she is then seen in dreams and I auditioned her for that part um, and she was brilliant but not quite right for that and then we thought well hang on a second there is this much beloved character called Katie Gilmore she looks more like a mean girl more like thinking. a mean girl <laughs> well, well I, mean, I don't know if I should be offended but listen no. I didn't want to say it Grace but you know <laughs> Um, yes, and so she is. Yes, she's the kind of character that everyone loves to hate. She is. Uh, 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 she you know, has all the best lines, like all the kind of mean kids do. And so we thought, oh my God, this is an absolutely perfect opportunity. Let's have her on to do that. Now, some of some of the mean uh, characters in, in in plays in dramas sometimes we're, we're allowed to sort of hate them for a while before getting to understand what's made them the way they are. Is this the case uh, here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, most people. The, the good thing about the episode is that Katie gets the chance to explain why she's a mean girl and now, now why she's changed and she's changed to the good side. So, yeah, it was it, she was great fun to play and uh, I usually play the nice girl, so it was interesting to play to, something. To be somebody different. nasty. Yeah, to be a baddie, more hot. <laughs> was it a good feeling? Was this, is it something you'd like to do again in the future, to play a nasty piece of work? Definitely. I really yeah. enjoyed it. It was, yeah, it was a great experience and... I'm lucky that I got the chance to to do something so different, and she's yeah she's a lot of fun. I got to. I, I think the other thing about Katie is that she is yeah she is a mean character, but uh, she means well. She does mean well. She, she just has no filter. No, like she you just know. says whatever she thinks and doesn't really think about the consequences. Exactly, at she's all. the sort of person that you know if she didn't like the shirt you were wearing, she'd say you're very brave to wear a shirt like that. In oh, public. oh know, she'd just say like, yeah. I don't. What are you wearing? What on earth are you? Wearing? <laughs> But sometimes people are like that in life, aren't they? They do, they do, do not have that filter. They are they, in a way. There's something I admire about that. I could never go up to someone and say, do you know what, you, what are you wearing today? But Katie just has this. Yes. this oh, thing. But yeah, we, then we go through all the niceties, don't we? We, we don't I bother. Know, we don't worry about what happens next. No, 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 exactly, exactly. There's a lovely line, actually, in Grace's episode, The Gilmore Girl, um, where uh, she's, uh, she's talking about how... Um, uh, Katie is talking about how people misunderstand her because she's very rich and she's very glamorous and she's very beautiful and everything. And, uh, you know, she says, well, all that is true and thank God for this face, but, you know, there's more going on underneath. And thank God for this face is... She she really means that. She's not boasting. You know, it's just <laughs> what she thinks. Well, yeah, of course Thank I'm God all those this. things, but I'm more too. You know, she's that kind of character. Yeah, because money isn't always a, a good way of making friends. A lot of people think they might want to know you for your money, but this, quite often if, if you're filthy, stinking rich or... Uh, well off even uh, there is sometimes a bit of resentment going on I, I think in real life yes although mm. I think Katie would think filthy stinking rich was a minimum it's the way requirement to be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's why I haven't got any friends because uh, of all the money I've got you know just <laughs> dripping but that's what the smell is in the studio is, <laughs> is actually money was this a um I won't call it a project it's grander than that but but is it was this an easy thing to get together and and, and to actually uh, pr- produce and, and get online was it was it a difficult thing it was a difficult thing um I think 
uh, mostly because uh, we were working with very, very little money. I mean, the the web series have been quite a thing in the States for a long time. And um, our biggest American rival had a budget of a quarter of a million dollars. Um, we, our budget is the tiniest fraction of the tiniest percentage of that. I mean, in TV terms, almost literally nothing. So we were very lucky to be working with a fantastic, fantastic cast and crew who were very dedicated, very innovative, you know, and it was quite... Uh, quite liberating, really, to kind of be making something for which there were no rules. It's not like TV where things have to be a certain set length of time. You know, you can do things as long as the story needs to be, you know, and you can kind of do what you like. It's a bit like the Wild West. And so we felt like we were kind of at the forefront of something new. There is there is something really good about uh, doing things like that online because when when you're watching a TV show at the same time as several million other people, that's a different feeling. That's That's one feeling. Uh, but when you when you're doing something online, when when you when you subscribe to something, it's it's like you're signing up to a little club, a little private club, and that makes you feel part of something as well. Definitely, I think that's what's so amazing about night school is that we've got fans all over the world, and they've shown such great support. And it's it's amazing that there's people messaging me from from France. There's a night school France group, a night school Spanish group. You did a, an interview incre- for the night school Mexican fan club. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes. Um, what was that like? It was amazing, and it's been great. I've been I, I'd never I could speak a bit of German, but my language just went too great. But it's been a great opportunity for me to try and learn <laughs> a bit more <laughs> languages so I can speak and engage with them. But no, but no, did, are, are, are these episodes are they subtitled or are, are they dubbed? Actually, they're subtitled in 23 languages. Wow. Um, thanks to the magic of 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 the of the popular online platform where you can watch them. Um, and uh, yeah, th- th- I mean the fact that, as Grace says, this is a global phenomenon. You know, uh, the way that uh, people's interaction with with TV and with media is changing so much. You are kind of broadcasting to the whole world. I mean, you know, as you yourself know you can you can listen to the BBC online many many places around the world, and. Um, you know, for us, uh, the amazing fact that I heard, 50% of all things watched everywhere, so whether it's film, TV, whatever, 50% of everything now happens on YouTube. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? And the fact there are kids growing up now who kind of have, don't that's, really that's have any That's the norm. You know? That, that, yeah, is, that yeah, is the exactly. absolute norm. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's, it makes, makes me feel quite elderly to think, because there'll be people <laughs> listening to this programme who grew up without a television set, but for me, it was just uh, the black and white telly with only two channels. Yeah, I yeah. remember that clearly. Uh, uh, and, um, yeah, YouTube, I remember the first time I saw it, it was just, just one of those, one of those uh, uh, jokey moments when somebody says, there's a, there's a talking cat online. <laughs> <laughs> Have a I look on YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. Do you remember the, the talking animals? <laughs> yes, and pug playing piano. Pug yeah, playing piano is my yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all that stuff. I never, you'd never imagined back then that it would, yeah. that it would be such a, a, a huge success. This is what we obviously need to do, Grace. If there is a series two of Night School, yeah. You're talking cat, talking pug cat. Playing piano. <laughs> I can imagine the uh, the um, auditions for those. Would be, uh, <laughs> quite quite interesting. Well, now that now this has been. Um, uh, a success now. Uh, now it's just, you know the night school has been such a success. What next for you, you two? Mm. What is next? Well, and the second series would be absolutely amazing. Yes, no firm decision on that yet, but we hope it's going to happen. Um, maybe this summer. And um, our our big aim as well is to get uh, is to get night school made into a film or a full a full series. Mm. Whether that's you know on TV or online, you know there are there are places like Netflix now where things are just made for the web and they're big full scale all singing all dancing productions. You know something like that would be the ideal, and there is a huge demand for it. What what are the p- people who uh, who know uh, the, the the written word, the books? What what do they think about what you've done? Um, the response has been brilliant, actually. Uh, the night school fans have been one hundred percent behind us, and the nice thing as well is that we've picked up a whole load of new fans. You know, people who had no idea about the books. Mm. You know, the books are bestsellers in several countries. There's a huge fan base, but you know, there's a lot of people who'd never heard of them. And people get in touch with us and just say, you know, we saw your web series. You know, we loved it. I'm now going to go and read the books. You know, so uh, it, people have been tremendously. Supportive. It made it slightly more daunting, uh, considering it was a, it was a book beforehand, because everyone. Everyone, it's like you know with Harry Potter everyone has a all the fans had a view of what each character looked like so when you're coming in and you're you're doing your own thing to the character and you think you're hoping that that's exactly how how the other fans imagine especially all over the world everyone's everyone's got a different view of the character but yeah the, the response has been amazing so yeah this is I mean Jack when you were um, yes. making a decision then is, is how things are going to yeah uh, to sort of come across how things are going to sound and look uh, do you just take a deep breath and say nope this is what we're doing and just just leap into it 
Uh, is, is that how you sort of make, make a decision? Yeah, I think you have to. Um, I mean, you can... Obviously, you know, you listen to the audience uh, to the degree that you want to give people what they want. But also it is important to kind of have a creative vision. And also remember that you are making something separate to the books. You know, we are we are making little films first and they take place within the world of the books, but they don't actually always directly adapt the books as well. So, yeah, you do have to have a very, a very firm idea of what you want to do and then just go for it. Uh, and Grace, what do the people back home in Norfolk think of what's uh, been happening to you then over the past yeah, it's few been, months or so? It's been amazing. I'm, I'm sure I think uh, my mum's listening now and the GMA <laughs> say, say hi to them. Hello, Mum! Um, hi, Grace and Mum! Hi, Mum! I've always wanted to do that. I've done that now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the, the response has been amazing. And um, I was lucky that growing up in Norwich, obviously, there's a big arts art space and um, I used to go to Norwich Young People's Theatre and Wyndham College had a had a great arts there so the response from my teachers and friends has just been amazing and I think they're just loving that I'm doing what I love and that it's paying off so yeah it's amazing. So where can we uh, where can we find uh, this where, where do we go to have a look and a, and a listen what happens what do we do? Um, night School Book um, at uh, uh, sorry youtube.com stroke Night School Book or you can just google uh, Night School Web Series and uh, you'll find it. Fantastic Jackson, Wonderful. thanks very much and uh, Grace what a pleasure what a, a lovely treat speaking to you both. Oh thank you very much um, thank you for having us. Let's catch up again in the not too distant future thank you. Let's thank do that. Bye 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 then.